This is my new tricopter. Alright, first thing is the remote. It has a continuous rotation uh, rotary encoder with a button and a tricolor LED or dual color LED in it. Second thing you'll see is the tricopter's lighting system. It's got rear blue red lights and bright white front lights. And GoPro mount where this camera goes. My TNT USB enabled uh, Atmega 32U for microcontroller with custom firmware called TNT Copter. And then, <coughs> excuse me, the remote. So instantly turns green when it says shows that it's established communication, which is within about 10 micro, uh, milliseconds of startup on the quadcopter. Now, what's fun about having a uh, custom remote? All of the parts for the remote are either 3D printed or laser cut, including the electronics backpack, which houses the microcontroller. It uses headers for everything. Um, it uses XP900 for communication. But the cool thing about having a custom remote like this is that you can do really neat custom settings. So, first thing with the uh, rotor encoder, if you push it down for more than a half a second, it goes into menu mode, which is shown with the amber LED. And you can turn it slightly to the right, and you'll see the, the blip of green light to three, four, five, six. That happens to go into LED configuration mode. So now when I change, um, when I press it down to go into dust, I can change the brightness to be ridiculously bright, or all the way to nothing or barely anything, which I'm partial to. I think it's pretty neat that it can go that low. So turn it up, disable control. Now the neat thing is that you can do that while you're flying. So it saves your uh, configuration settings to EPROM on the helicopter so that you can instantly take off. But so while it's while it's flying, I can still do things like configure values like the LED settings. Now what else is this good for? Well how about your P gains or your I gains or your D gains for your stabilization, your pitch roll and yaw. Well, that's what I've done. So if you press it down, go to menu mode, go all the way to the left. That's your pitch. Went forward, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Now if you do it again, but turn one to the right. Left, right, left, right. That's your roll. One more time. That's your yaw. One more time. Slightly different. That's the uh, yaw centering value. And that's just so you can really easily change where the center point is rather than having to do that with analog trims of the remote this will store in settings and you can have it independent of which remote you're using which is nice <coughs> all these settings are saved into EEPROM and um, stored in memory for temporary uh, temporarily and then um, loaded on startup and the LEDs in the front fade uh, up to the brightness that they're set to uh, very nicely on startup. The rear ones, I don't. I need another MOSFET to be able to do it, and I don't have it right now. Anyway, it yeah, flies very nicely. All the parts are, uh, uh, except for for the remote, uh, I haven't put those up yet. Um, are on Thingiverse, and uh, check out my website, t413.com. Thanks.